What's going on guys, it's Toy Addict 26 back again with part 2 of my Avengers Hot Toys 1-6 scale Hulk action figure review. So now we're going to break down the details of the articulated bendy hands that come included with this figure. It's very easy to replace the hand. You basically take off the closed fisted hand, you pop it right out of the peg there, and replace it with the soft bendy fingers hand which is included with the figure it pops right in there real nice and snug and looks great this is an awesome added bonus for the figure because you have articulated fingers that you can bend at will here i'm going to go ahead and do a very famous uh, hand remark hand gesture i'm going to do the middle finger as you can see you could pretty much bend all the fingers and then just bring up the middle finger and there you go Hulk is giving you the birdie. So that's badass. Now one thing to note is that while the fingers are bendy, they are not heavily articulated. It's not like you're going to be able to, you know, do some really amazing grasping poses because at the end of the day, these are like thick rubber fingers with a bendy wire in between them. So you're not going to be able to pull off a real close grip, but regardless, you could still do like semi-closed hands. You could do certain gestures like the middle finger. You can't really do the thumbs up because the thumb doesn't have a, a wire along the inside of the finger. Regardless of that, this is an awesome added feature, which as I mentioned in part one of my video, it, this was not intentionally going to be included with the Hulk when it was first solicited um, last year. So it was an awesome last minute added bonus by Hot Toys. And mad kudos to them for adding this because this is really awesome and adds a lot of play value and uh, display value overall with the fingers you can see here how they open up real easily you see all the seams the cracks in between the fingers you still got you know it's almost seamless pretty much the color of the hand matches the color of the forearm and, and the rest of the arm perfectly and now let's take a closer look at this green behemoth this thing is so freaking immaculate it's so amazing. It's so badass. I just can't stop saying how incredible this figure is. Let's take a look at the chest here. Um, Hulk has hair on his chest. And this is not just painted, folks. This is actually sculpted in. You can feel the texture of the pubes on his chest, which is amazing. It's badass. He's got these huge um, muscles all over the body. The texture, you can see the veins here on the biceps. The paint application on this thing is flawless. It has dual tones of green. Um, the lighting might not show it off as good, but it's definitely painted in different hues of green to really bring out uh, the definition and the muscles. The pants um, are pretty much, it's kind of weird because the button doesn't close and it's only the zipper that's holding up the pants on Hulk, but he has an inner um, like spandex pants underneath these uh, purplish grayish pants. The pants are not um, spandex material, but they are a little bit loose on them. Now, one thing to note is the detail on the legs is just amazing. You've got veins running all over the foot, the calves. You even got like the detail almost like kind of yellow fungus on the nails there. Just immaculate detail, just perfection in every aspect when it comes to paint apps, sculpt, just flawless this thing is amazing and Hulk's back I mean this thing is huge he's got a huge back just like Hulk should you can see all the texture the graininess in the skin there like the wrinkles here in the middle down the middle of the back of, of, of Hulk just incredible I mean look at those shoulders like all the texturing just amazing this thing is freaking jaw-dropping fantastic and anybody that's on the fence about picking this up is insane because this is just an amazing figure all right and i briefly want to talk about the rubberized arms i know this is something that a lot of people have been concerned and expressed concern about in the past figures with rubberized material the the rubber tends to wear and um, rot out after some time Honestly, I think the material used on Hulk is very thick. It's a, it's a new type of material that I haven't seen before on a Hot Toys figure, and I think it's very durable. But only we will know once, you know, it, it, it has survived the test of time. 
after maybe five, six, seven years, people might start, you know, realizing that this rubber is rotting or tearing down. But I think the main focus will be to keep this in a temperature controlled environment to keep the rubber from deteriorating. Overall, I think it's amazing. The joint inside, like I mentioned in video one, uh, I love the fact that the muscles are contoured with the inner arm that is jointed under the, the rubber skin. So just an amazing job. Don't think anybody should be concerned about the rubberized, rubberized arms or body for that matter. This is just an impeccable figure and an amazing addition to your Avengers 1-6 scale collection. In a nutshell, I gotta say that this thing truly exceeded my expectations by leaps and bounds. The sculpt work, the paint apps, the design overall, the rubberized body, the hidden articulation makes this an absolute holy grail of the Marvel 1-6 scale collection from Hot Toys so far. And let's face it, we can finally build and assemble the full Avengers team in 1-6 scale. This is an absolute must-have for Marvel collectors and Hot Toys collectors alike. And you should definitely pick this up. Don't think twice about it. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the toy house.